Immorality is just too entrenched at this stage, but can we change our own local situation? I do believe we can. So um, this is actually from uh, Naylor's book. He was uh, one of the founders, I believe, of the uh, Second Vermont Republic, and he wrote a short little book called Secession. It's a quick read, and it was pretty interesting. So he talked about sort of the personal journey that people should take if they want to explore these ideas of you know, whether secession is viable. So first of all, he says, well, and it's four Ds, basically. So the first one is denunciation? Denunciation. English is my second language. Denunciation. So the federal government has no moral authority. From there, we start to look at disengagement. How can we disengage? If you believe, like I do, that basically the federal government is the Titanic, then I believe New Hampshire is the life raft. It is the place that you can actually go where there is a feasible situation that we're building in order to one, set ourselves free, but also not to get caught up in what may e eventually emerge as some kind of civil war. So with the disengagement, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean don't try to do things. I think that also includes things like civil disobedience or, um, doing tax refusals or draft refusals or those kinds of things, but disengaging yourself from the federal government. The third step is demystification, and that's basically what talking here is something, right? So we're gonna talk about showing that something like secession isn't that scary, it's viable, it's a legal option, and that more people, if they knew about it and it didn't come with the baggage that the mainstream wants to clamp on it, that it would actually be something that more people would be interested in. And then the fourth one, and don't let the word scare you, is defiance. So we have denunciation, disengagement, demystification, and defiance. And the defiance is really just a sort of personal thing that you have to say to yourself that you decree that you are willing to peacefully engage to work for secession. So of course the million dollar question is, what are they gonna do to us, right? Is secession even legal? And you know, there are two sort of different ways that people think about that. And you know, are they gonna nuke us if, <laughs> if we try and do it? I for many years have been saying, I really, 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 really want Vermont to secede first so we could see what they do. <laughs> but you know, I think uh, New Hampshire has a value proposition with the Free State Project and with the sort of live and let live ethos there to, um, to do it before Vermont does.